Time tonight, we're just three days away from Metro's partial red line summer shutdown. Five stations will be closed beginning this Saturday, which means a huge impact, not only for thousands of train riders, but also those driving to and from work for the next several months. Our Rafael Sanchez Cruz is in Silver Spring to help you plan ahead. Metro riders like Lynn Williams say they're not looking forward to the looming red line shutdown. It's a long time. Three months is an extremely long time, but um, I guess I'm willing to adjust. Starting this Saturday, June 1st, the Glenmont, Wheaton, Forest Glen, Silver Spring, and Tacoma stations will be closed. Metro says that on June 30th, the Tacoma stop will reopen, but the other four will remain closed through the end of August. Metro says they will be offering free shuttles that will run every four to eight minutes. Parking at the impacted stations will also be free according to the transit system. Do you think it's going to add more time to your commute time? It, it sure will. I think it will add maybe a good 30 minutes extra. Additional shuttles on the road means more traffic. Which is why transportation officials have launched seven miles of bus only lanes between Silver Spring and Glenmont. Signal timing will also be adjusted to prioritize buses. State officials are betting on the bus only lanes along Georgia Avenue to help alleviate congestion during rush hour times. I think I'm going to park in the garage. Jan Erickson says the summer inconvenience will hopefully be outweighed by the upgrades. The metro is really important and the ridership has gone down and we have to rebuild that because traffic in Maryland is Horrible. Maryland transportation officials say the closure is necessary to connect the Purple Line project to Metro and also to make much needed maintenance repairs. For more on the red line shutdown, visit WUSA9.com. In Silver Spring, Rafael Sanchez Cruz. All right, new